train. today. trying to show you my undies so don't think that but I have to show you what I did to my leg this morning look at that I ran right into Luke's sandblasting machine and it cut me that's gonna hurt whenever I do hip thrust later it's Monday today it's a fresh start to the week and I actually woke up on time thank goodness Woke up at 5.15, I had a coffee, did my devotion, made the bed, and then we were out the door to go see Sunrise. Oh. Uh, hello. Hello. Say hi. Say hello. Thank you, baby. Sweet girl. She's been so needy in the mornings, I kind of love it. <laughs> Currently getting ready for work, and... I'm kind of scared to say this slash put this out into the world because I've really been debating here recently if I want to do a like two month cut and whenever I mean cut like I mean like cut body fat have a calorie deficit because I want to be more lean and show off the muscles that I have built over the last couple of years. I haven't been in a building phase or a cutting phase, I've just really been maintaining and just focusing on form in the gym. I kind of want to go on a little mini cut and I'm scared to say that out loud because I'm going to have so many people like coming at me if I don't get it done within that two months or if like it takes a little bit longer than I think. I don't know. It's not that I'm scared to do it. I just doing it online you have a lot of more people holding you accountable which I need but I also don't want to like let people down or myself down so I'm trying not to pressure myself and I just want to take it as slow as possible my weight right now is 155 which looks fine on me I'm 5'4 I look healthy but 
I would like to be a little bit leaner so my goal weight that I'm gonna go for is like 135 just excited to start this new little journey and bring you guys along. I think it would be a fun experience for the both of us. So if there's something specific that you would like to see on this channel during my cut, like what I'm eating in the day, how I'm exercising, mental health questions, anything like that, leave the... Anything that you would like to see on this channel moving forward, please leave me a comment down below. I read every single comment, so I will gladly answer any questions that you have or film whatever you would like to see in the future. Ugh, I'm having to use so much concealer because my face is broken out. Mm, I'm like a week or so out from my period, so this is whenever my skin starts to break out and my hormones start going cray cray. We're managing, we're trying to at least. So I got two solid poops from Loki today, which makes me happy because if you guys didn't know or don't follow me on Instagram, Loki ate a macadamia nut and he was really sick from it. So I'm happy we got solid poops today, which is really probably gross for you to hear, but it is what it is. I'm a dog mom. While I've been at work, I have been listening to Dr. Huberman's podcast my doctor actually told me to listen to this one because it talks about seasonal depression so it ah, i dropped the boop we're on our walk right now getting sunshine in our eyes because dr huberman said that during these seasons of colder days and shorter days like the season that we're in right now winter um seasonal depression occurs because we don't get enough sunlight in our eyes to counteract seasonal depression, I have been really prioritizing getting sunlight in my eyes for at least 10 to 15 minutes each day. You should really do 30 minutes, but getting sunshine in your eyes does so much for your body and your soul. It's crazy. And it's such a simple thing to do. Just get outside and get in the sun. Or say you live in a colder climate region somewhere like Canada or the UK and you don't get as much sunshine as we do here in Florida. My doctor even recommended me to get a light box and you just expose yourself to that light. It's supposed to have a light that has like so many lumens or brightness, whatever you call it. Um, and that's called light therapy and light therapy can help with like seasonal depression. So you might find like a sad lamp, S-A-D lamp, but those are expensive. You can also get like a sunshine lamp and that should boost your serotonin and boost your mood. So I've been looking on Amazon and whenever I find one, I'll let you guys know and like show you it. I personally want to get a light box for certain days, like on days where it's really gray outside, rainy and no sunshine. I want to have that that light source so it can boost my mood even on dark days. I um, honestly shouldn't be on camera right now. <laughs> I have like, what is this called? I have um, medicine. I have medicine on my skin and I just got out of the shower kind of went down the rabbit hole. I was not gonna come on here and talk to you guys. I was just gonna end it and then just try again tomorrow. But um, yeah, I, I was in a really bad mood whenever I got home from work. Uh, <laughs> so the reason I got set was because I realized that I didn't 
I didn't track the correct macros for the meal that I made, so I didn't meet my macros, and this is supposed to be the first cutting day, and then Luke was on E today because he didn't have enough calories, so I was just really down. It made me really sad, which is not something really to get sad about, but so aggravating because Luke was on E, he was having heartburn, and the majority of it was my fault because I didn't make enough, so... It just really took it to heart and just felt really bad about it. Kind of went down the rabbit hole of like the self-hate, the all the negative things that you aren't supposed to do. So I just had a cry, got it out. Yeah, tomorrow's a new day, so we're gonna try again tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a new day. You guys, I'm such a baby. I was literally just reading one of my old Instagram posts and it made me tear up. <laughs> my hormones are all over the place with this period. I just have a feeling it's not going to be a good one because the emotions are running high beforehand. So, thank goodness it's a new day. Yesterday was... Yesterday day was fine. It was after my workout, after work, whenever I got home. That's whenever I kind of spiral downhill. <laughs> After we got done working out, we came home and we were very hungry, very tired. It had been a long day. And Luke tells me that he's on E. Like, he expended himself too much today and he did not have enough fuel. It did set me off a little because I was disappointed in myself for not being able to take proper care of me and Luke. And, like, the thing was is I had prepared, like, I meal prepped, I planned and everything, and then yesterday I realized that I didn't do the correct measurements for one of the recipes that I made, so it wouldn't feed us the full week, and I was just like, all I could think was, oh my gosh, I didn't take care of him properly, it's my fault that he's on E, like, I didn't make him enough food, I didn't hit his protein goal, and it was just me pressuring myself a lot to be perfect, which is, in this world, it's just stupid. But the tears started coming and the makeup was messed up and it was like, we ain't vlogging no more. Fortunately, sometimes it takes me a little bit more time to get out of those slumps. So it was difficult for me to get back into that positive growth mindset. After being down on myself and disappointed in myself, it was hard to switch that role, so last night I was like, we just need to go to sleep and then try again tomorrow, try to have a brighter day today. I personally am trying to be 1% better every single day and coach myself to be better in those situations like last night so I can continue to create and inspire you guys despite whatever challenges come up. And I always think there can be a lesson that needs to be learned. Even bad things can bring good lessons and good outcomes. So you can sit there and wallow in self-pity like I did last night, or you can choose to learn and grow from it and improve your future self. So like I said, we're on this self-improvement train, self-love train, not self-pity like last night. We all mess up, we all slip up, we're humans, but important to get right back into that positive mindset, right back into that routine. So like I said, I wanna better myself and my vlogs and I feel like the way to get better is to ask for feedback and ask for people's opinions. So if you have any tips or tricks that help you switch from that self-hate mindset into that positive growth mindset, then please leave it in the comments below. Or even if you just have feedback for me on myself or my vlogs and how we can improve them, I would love to know what you think in the comments. I think for me what helps is not so much journaling, but like writing down thoughts and ideas, maybe distracting yourself so you can forget about all of that negativity, that at least helps me. So I wanted to share that just in case anybody does have a night like I had last night. There's ways that you can get out of it and there's always going to be brighter days. For now, I am going to leave you guys here and head off to work and then after work, I'm going to bring you along with me to the gym and show you my back and biceps workout. <laughs>
Uh, you guys are not going to be able to see me very good at all. It's going to be really grainy and blurry too because it's just pitch black outside at 6 o'clock. But oh my gosh, that was so good compared to yesterday. I'm leaving feeling amazing. I first started that workout. Ah. I first started that workout. I, well, first I began with my warm-up, obviously, but then I began with pull-ups. And I kind of degressed by one on each set for my pull up so I was thinking like this workout is not gonna be good everything's gonna feel heavy and then after that like every exercise that I went into I go into it with no expectation of myself and every exercise I progressed on and it just felt so good I felt like I was moving in the right direction moving forward getting more weight with better form and then yeah at the end of it I did 15 minutes of cardio just on a treadmill on an incline walking and then whenever I was leaving front desk guy his name is Alan he got our Instagram and our YouTube channel and I just want to shout out to Alan and Gold's gym in this vlog they're also linked in the description below and if I post anything on Instagram about them I'll obviously tag them they are a great gym over here in Fort Walton Beach if you live in the area I would highly recommend this gym it's great because it's not as packed as some of the other gyms around here it's got two rooms so it's very spacious and um, I feel like I have enough room to film in it as well which is very important to me because health and fitness is a big part of my life not only is health and fitness a big part of my life it has changed my life for the better in so many ways and now I just feel like it's my calling is that a weird word it's my that's me what the heck are we in the show manifest calling destiny I think the word I was looking for was like duty job obligation yeah <laughs> to share that positivity with others and how fitness can help you and improve your life Be dinner you guys um, you guys saw my breakfast my lunch yesterday I was trying to do a full day of eating but like I said I had a bad night last night so um, this was my dinner so basically this was like the beginning of my cut eating wise so I hope this maybe gave you some like good meal inspiration you guys I had to document this moment that's so cute Tell them what happened. Our next next door neighbor. They know him. We had oh. him in the last vlog. Sam and Dave. Okay, yeah. Sam texted me saying Alex made you something. He said, can we come over? And I was like, yeah, sure, come on over. And they bring me this. And it's dairy-free granola. It's not hey. healthy, but it's dairy. Like they, they... Alex made it for you. Yeah. That's so sweet. And then tell him what he was saying while he was waiting for you to like answer. Yeah, I guess. He texts back and Alex just go, I love Mr. Lou. Aww. That's so cute. Are you Dude, okay? These smell so freaking good. First bite. Mmm, that's so yum. The camera's shaking because my arm is shaking. Mmm. Don't knock the glass over. This is a bad angle, but thank you. This is so good. Thank Thanks, you so buddy. much. He's so cute. He's the sweetest little kid. I don't know why he likes me so much. Because you're smart and you're somebody that he looks up to. Good morning. We're up in the office this morning editing, getting some work done. But I had to share this with you guys because I had such a sweet message last night from my cousin. I'm such a baby right now. My hormones are going rampant. Like, the littlest things make me tear up and cry. Literally brought tears to my eyes. Anyways, he sent me a picture of what they had for dinner, and it was one of my recipes, and it made me so happy. They made the shrimp veggie pasta that I made in the last vlog, I want to say. If you haven't watched that, that recipe is amazing, and I would definitely give it a try, because it also is healthy, but it tastes so good. So he just messaged me saying thank you for posting that and sharing that, and... It was so sweet. So happy that a younger teenager liked 
my recipe. Like, I want to say he's like 13, working on 14 probably. And he loved it, and there's veggies in it. So I was so grateful that somebody actually tried my recipe and enjoyed it. So Tanner, if you're watching this, I love you so much, buddy. Good afternoon, my dudes! Do you see us right now? We are suited and booted for our mini stroll that we're about to do. I don't care if I look crazy right now, it's cold out here. So if you see me walking in my comfy, no you didn't. Just pretend like you didn't. All right, I'll see you in a sec. I'm sorry I didn't vlog much yesterday. It was my rest day and I actually got to take it on my scheduled rest day. The last two weeks I was having to take my rest days on Mondays because just things came up like Loki eating the macadamia nut, all that kind of stuff. So I actually got to take my rest day on a Wednesday, which was supposed to happen. So I'm excited for the rest of this week and actually doing the workouts that I'm supposed to do that are scheduled in my program. But something that nobody tells you whenever you're a homeowner, Luke is outside in the cold having to put a spigot lock on our hose because we might have somebody stealing our water. <laughs> like whenever you sign up to be a homeowner, you don't think about things like that. Like what even is a spigot lock? Like it's just like, I'm glad that I bought a house because I was losing money renting and this was the smarter option, but like it comes with a lot. I'll say that comes with a lot. This vlog has been quite a long one, I feel like, so I am probably gonna call it quits here. I hope that you found some value in this vlog, or even if you just come to this channel to have a good time, I love that as well. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video and you aren't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button, because I would love to continue to create videos and inspire, motivate, and do all the things. So, you guys have a good night or a good morning wherever you are in this world, and we'll see you next time.